E3 time. Uh, I, I I just saw that Vinny went live, so I am like, oh, yo, uh, that hasn't been a thing in like two months, so that'll be a, a good watch uh, for afterwards. Uh, also got Bingo, as you can see. Um, it's just a browser source, so boop boop. boop. <laughs> Um, instead of just me using GIMP like the previous years, I actually learned how to, to, to do stuff. It's not totally centered. Uh, not that I notice. Oop, that's the wrong scene. I, I slapped this back up. I slapped it back together, right? Um, not too long ago. First when I woke up, so uh, maybe, maybe uh, just, just a little bit tired, but you know, we are, we, we are alive and well. I, I'm so like, so... Happy to see Vinny streaming, but this might be a one-time thing for now. Maybe, maybe just because of the fact that, you know, maybe it's early on. I, I don't know. Uh, oh. As again, I have her expectations pretty low. Uh, even with me making a bingo, I'm not entirely like, oh yeah, this is going to happen. So like, this, uh, this will make my day. I mean, it will if I see some of the stuff on here. But, um, except for like, Splatoon. I don't care about Splatoon. Uh, there's nothing on here that make me upset, so you know. There was a Japanese Twitter of uh, Nintendo saying that you can't stream this stuff. I have not seen uh, an English version of that tweet, so I'm assuming that it's fine. It's whatever. Also, I sneezed earlier, so my voice is a bit weird. Um, I just blow my nose real quick. <laughs> Give me a second. I also just like woke up like an hour ago, so yeah. I made my coffee, so I'll be drinking it throughout the direct. Or, or if I won't at all, depending how enthralled I am. But, uh, I was able to finish my, uh, my drink last time. On my, on my water. <laughs> With the Capcom direct, because there was about nothing to really talk about. I was like, okay, uh, I'll just drink, drink my, my coffee. We are, are a minute away. This, has, this hasn't changed though. I'm not gonna look at the Nintendo chat because unlike Capcom, it's not email only. So, uh, <laughs> for the better that I don't look at it right now. Cool. It's just surreal to see Vinny go live in an instant. It's like he's almost his old uh, numbers from when he uh, usually called it went live. And it'll be 11 here in any second now. Soon, TM. I gotta do volume check because I don't know. They haven't played the audio at all. I got scared because they uh, they went live and I had played. I was watching uh, Vinny's Microsoft the Seth's, uh, presentation. I was like, what the heck, why do I have two two audio thingies? I'm just, pl just playing Princess Connect. <laughs> and, and now it's double audio. How long is E3 going? Uh, or how is it going? It's been alright. But it is, the Nintendo Direct is going to be 40 minutes. I'll do bear. Welcome to uh, Sleepy Joe. Oh, 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 oh. We start, we start, we start, we start, we start, we start. Daytime stream, so it's going to be a lot of background noise. Seems fine. I'll increase it just slightly. Alright. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki. It's okay, I guess I have to work despite being told work wasn't going to be there. Oof. The Nintendo Switch system is now in its fifth year. 
and many people around the world are playing games on it. Nintendo Switch is being enjoyed by a wide range of players spanning all ages and all levels of gaming experience. Thank you all very much. We've been able to offer a wide variety of games on the system, not just from Nintendo, but also okay. from our many development and publishing partners. I hope that each of you before in terms like no, you can't stream this in English. It's only been in Japanese, so I don't care. Today we have news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, to begin, please take a look at this video. Oh. Huh? Ganon. Oh, it's a smash. New villain? Who? Oh. Uh, this uh, that Tekken dude, I think. Cool. I mean, I had no real expectations for... Or rather, I had no real ambitions for a new Smash character. So, this is fine. People are gonna be... Hopefully happy enough about this. We, we have actual fighters. Not just some, you know, JRPG dude or some platformer guy. So, I, I'm sure enough people will be... Oh! Happy about this and excited. Dang, he's just tossing people. Oh. Yeah, it's his second, right? I don't know a whole, whole ton about it. No, not Crimble! Yeah, he'll just roll back up. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Sakurai getting... <laughs> Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited and the director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate <laughs> game. Kazuya Mishima from the fighting game series Sakurai. Tekken will join the battle. Surprise! I'll go over the details at a later date, so please sit tight. For today, though, we've prepared a short video to showcase Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please take a look. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it's good. We got more villains. It's the thing I want. Even if I don't know much about this villain. This feels like Tekken. No, it's super. I mean, waited until E3 ends so I could watch a complete co compilation and list all the games revealed. During Microsoft Direct, and I think it was literally a bunch of people talking about how they love games and not why they love games. Just said that they surely do. None of them worked this for any of the games or, or, or worked on the games. Yeah. I'm currently watching that. It seems fine. New fighter. So will join the fight in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please look forward to seeing how Kazuya, who has experienced many harsh battles across the Tekken series, will fight in this game. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
Let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Your choices matter in these emotional, supernatural tales. Okay. And again, like usually I'm not one for, for watching the DC3, so I'm, a, I'm a lonesome unless it's like stuff I really care about, like Capcom or Nintendo. Anything else, I'll just watch somebody else reacting to it. So, you know. This life is strange, but animated. Okay. I don't care about Life in Strange, never played the first ones, so. It took two or three minutes before they showed more uh, Back for Blood. You're so. Mm. Back for Blood seems alright. I've heard uh, that the demo was a bit rough, but the fact that they're still working on it, it shows promise for the game, so. I've already played very little of Left 4 Dead 2, so. I think I streamed that on my birthday. And Life is Strange Remastered uh, Left 4 Dead 2. To Nintendo Switch later Again, it was a very, very, very small bit of it. There's something for everyone on the Nintendo Switch system. Just said about Evolve. You huh. are Star Lord, leading a legendary band Marvel. of heroes for hire in this thrilling action adventure game. Twenty minutes for Marvel. On a wild ride across the cosmos, overwhelm opponents with Star Lord's daring combat style and encounter iconic and original Marvel characters. You'll call the shots for the unpredictable Guardians as you face cosmic threats to save the galaxy. You got this, probably. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy blasts onto Nintendo Switch October 26th. Worms everywhere! Oh boy, run. In this real-time arena-based shooter, you'll squish your invertebrate opponents in 32-player cross Hold oh, on, oh, the cinematic FPS, that's challenge. on a bingo. Battle modes and Rick, is it? To warm uh... the ranks. Plus, the patchwork bear outfit exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will be available for free for two weeks after launch. A new map, Ooh. Spaceport Showdown, launches with Worms Rumble, wriggling onto Nintendo Switch June 23rd. Get a 25% discount when you pre-order the game starting today on Nintendo eShop. It's not bad stuff, yes, it's just cinematic. The fantastical realm of Ore Cannon awaits. As you explore this fully hand-painted world, You'll customize a team of this is made by um, devastating attacks and captain worms is in trade base yeah Astria ascending launches on Nintendo switch September 30th I don't name of these devs in the game they made but I forgot the title of it return to the funny charming and quirky world of two point they Council. showed this at uh, devolver digital the wholesome management sim two point campus you'll build and run your very own university the way you want it Lots of creative tools are at your disposal to make the school yours and take your education. So rip and piece is all like in smash uh, for slots. Campus starts on Nintendo Switch next year. A beloved series rolls into its 20th anniversary this year. Monk. This was leaked, I believe. <laughs> oh gosh. It's oddly weird how, how well this design held up over the years. Like, there, I don't think this went through like the edgy phase that most things went through the, in the mid 2000s. I hope. But that's real ascending game reminded me of a game Bronze Screen before. Yep. Because of the background. Yep. It's made by the same devs. Uh. I believe it's um, uh, something Odyssey, uh, Estria Odyssey or something like that. It was a Sega Saturn game or a PS1 game. That was remastered, but this one is a, that one they showed was uh, an entirely new one. Yeah, Monkey Ball. Uh, Go bananas. This seems good. Monkey Ball, banana mania rolls onto Nintendo also Switch. making a, a Monkey Ball remake. They, they did. It was a Banana Blitz HD remake, which sucks because no, a, a lot of people do not like that. And you're invited. Oh. Ready for another Mario Party? Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you Just are. DLC? It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and mini games. Oh. Hey, doing a 3DS game, but actually good. Family one. There's a lot of successors. And Spaceland. 
Each board is packed with zany events guaranteed to keep you on your toes. And when we say, Oh, this zany, is technically an update on Mario Party. Jump. Update on the series. Next blocks. And give facelifts? In hilarious. This is good though. It's about time to do something about all of which support button controls. With 100 mini games from the Mario Party series. Well, this is good. You'll have the 3DS one sucked for well, what I've heard. Here's a little party favor. All Online play. Easy that air go. Nintendo really in that cash. Solo, you can randomly match with other party goers worldwide. Playing a board game online with friends? Save your progress mid-game, grab a snack, then resume the festivities. Stickers are also available to communicate with others. It's got that coffee. Party in Mario Party Superstars, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Cool. Pre-orders begin mm -hmm. to online play supported Nintendo barely. Yeah. Uh. What did you think? Before I'm surprised. We show this next trailer, I'd like to say one thing. Currently, we're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, oh. Metroid Prime 4, oh. which we previously announced. I didn't put this on the thing. But today, we'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Oh. Please take a look. I have Prime, I have Prime Collection, I don't have Prime 4. Or a new Prime 2D game. Oh. Metroid 5? Yo! Yeah, now it's the Metroid Collection Remaster? No, 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 this is an entirely new game. Hey, Santa Rain. I like the suit. Space Pirate. Metroid the Thief. It's like something out of Aperture. Yep, it's 2D. Oh, yes. Metroid on mobile? No, stop. I mean, technically it is through the Switch. Metroid Dread. Oh. Rearrange the letters and get Metroid Dead. R. Whatever that means. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Simus Returns uh, 3DS, but like on Switch. Metroid Horror Gaming. This is this gives a a, a, um, a fusion vibe with the suit. Hey, Chosa, helping? Ooh. Metroid is always always sort of a pseudo horror genre, uh, you know. Are you gonna give a date on this? Can <laughs> one give please? I'm not seeing a date. Mm. Oh, well, there it is. Uh, October eighth. Cool. That's more than what Metroid Prime Four has been given. That was the trailer for the first new 2D Metroid game in roughly 19 years? Oh, ouch! Brand new Delayed to 23. No, 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 no. As the name Dread implies, this is a Metroid game with a new feel showcasing a variety of threats that Samus will encounter. Dang it, I wish I put a new Metroid game. October 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. On that same day, we'll also be Amiibo. Amiibo figures uh, for Samus and the Emmy, the robot seen in the video. Hmm. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. When you turn already one E3 for a lot of people, These they usually do. Oh, are back on Nintendo oh, Switch. oh, Mario 3? I'm a get ready to get down in the hmm. Just Dance game. I don't care. Though. It's not on Wii. This is not on the Wii. I don't care. The both can smash on a card. I, 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 just, I just try to cover my bases. <laughs> Wii ball. Yay. Next. No, next, please. Next. Next. Hit I don't care. Explore in Just Dance 2022, launching on Nintendo Switch Please. November 4th. 
the arcade smash hit cruising just sent some evil win hope not switch uh, way through nearly 30 over the top tracks I think I've seen this on Xbox this is like um burnout but like vehicle and hit the road it's not really racing I think I don't know exclusive on Nintendo switch this fall did they say Costco exclusive it's the ultimate ball Z experience Relive the story of Goku and mm. other Z fighters through four sagas in 22 FPS. RPG. Saiyan. It's cool what is this part of all now. Invasion by Vegeta and Nappa. Frieza. Take a stand against the evil emperor. Cell. Battle the androids in a fight to the death. Majin Buu. An epic showdown with the most fearsome foe. I kind of want to play this game, but I, I think it was, I've seen it go on sale frequently, so maybe I'll pick it up on PS4 or PC at one point. Whatever's cheaper, I suppose. I haven't outright seen the Destiny graphics yet, so I guess this art style is saving it. Oh. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot plus a new power awakened set punches its way onto Nintendo Switch September 24th. Cool. Grab a golf club and get ready to tee off. Uh huh. The Mario this looks Ball fun Super though. Rush game launches soon. Here's a quick glimpse into each of the modes. Standard golf. golfing. Take your time to read the wind and terrain on the greens. Nice shot. Hit different types of shots and aim for under par. Nice bird. Speed golf. Smack your ball, then chase after it. Be the first to get your ball in the hole. Outpace your rivals with special dashes. I literally can't punch somebody and mess up their shot. It's not good enough. You can, though. There's ways to screw up other people, see? <laughs> Battle golf. Yeah. Do get out over nine flag marked holes in an obstacle filled arena. Oh, this is Capture three cool. Flags to win. Golf adventure. You have to get the RPG the aspect the since it's uh, character. portable. The golfing challenges that await may surprise you. And here's some news. Oh. Free updates are planned for future releases. Free updates. Additional courses and playable characters. I mean, this game's not finished yet. <laughs> the fairway's almost open. So set your tea time and get ready to ace those shots in Mario Golf Super Rush, swinging onto the Nintendo Switch system June 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Ready for the ride of a lifetime? Yep, Star Wars Story 2 stuff. Probably nothing new from yesterday, though. Welcome to the vast and vibrant world. Oh, wait, is this new? Actually running around. As a rider in this RPG adventure, you'll explore diverse landscapes by riding your monster, a monster Ooh. companion. Remember one golfing game I saw before where you're like super huge robots to stand in front of your opponent's shots? I remember that. I don't know. I don't know what the name was though, but I remember seeing that. Aware of the many monsters roaming about. Some are docile, but others may suddenly ambush. Leggy. To fight. You'll team up with your monster. Yeah, they're just showing gameplay, so this is all new. Enemy well, to most people. Win, and you'll be rewarded with their materials, which can be forged into new weapons and armor. Leggy. Is that an egg? egg. You might be able to hatch a new monster. I see. <laughs> the guy cursed it a long time. Can also hatch from rare eggs. Yakimi. Need more traveling buddies? Join up with friends for co-op multiplayer quests and battles. Eh. Hey. Buckle up, Ryder. It's going Maybe. to be a real monster of an adventure. Kind of monster interested in the single player campaign. Soars onto Nintendo Switch July 9th. Yep, not too far away now. You can play the free demo on June 25th and carry Also not too far away now, 10 days from now. Here's a new game from the head what? of a certain company. <laughs> I can play with someone, sounds nice. <laughs> Just a remake? Hey. What do you mean? Who am I? Wah. It's me, Wario. And it's a finally ready, a brand new game from my company. Check it out. Wah. You get to control me. Time to do this. So is that the gimmick here? Look at me go. Quack rats. 
check out these chumps. They came back, and they have wonderful new talents. Throw that stick thing. Hmm, not the bad. Use the spinny, what you might call it. Ha! Nailed it. Hey, Warrior Same This is all new, then. It's good. Different abilities. You kind of remember they have a lot of like IPs. I forgot some big news. Two people can play together at the same time. Wow. So play nice, or else. <laughs> hey, not nice. <laughs> All right, you. Yes, you. The one watching this better get ready for some micro game mayhem. <laughs> The WarioWare Get It Together oh, that's sooner than I expected. exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system September 10th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, Trailer Warrior Pointer, yep. What you just saw was the trailer or analog. WarioWare Get It Together. Mm -hmm. In the latest installment of this series, there are new micro games that let you control Wario and his friends. There is also a two-player co-op mode which greatly expands the gameplay. It's releasing in the near future, so stay tuned. Yes. Next, please take a look at this. Mario 3? Bingus for Mario 3? Bingus for Smash? Oh, Shimigami Tensei. As a high school student living in Tokyo, your life is... Or Pe Pepopa. No, it's a Shimigami. Best analog, I've had a good experience with Jarrow Porn and stuff with Splatoon. Heard it was fine in the Mario, in the Mario uh, 3D collection. Oh, my bad. Another Tokyo exists. A post apocalyptic world where angels and demons reside. Mm hmm. You fuse with a mysterious figure, gaining the power to fight demons. What lies ahead in this alternate? Yeah, people are freaking out about Metroid. Good. The world is now transformed into a sprawling demon infested. Oh, actual gameplay of Shimigami Tensei. Cool, yeah, I guess. School uniform looks like something that Grandma made with that flower print. <laughs> Featuring Dante for the Don't Make Cry series. No, that's a uh, that's uh, a doctor. Finding their weak point is key. By targeting it, the number of consecutive actions you can perform in a combo will increase. Though demons are formidable opponents, <laughs> you may be able to recruit them via negotiations, which begin when you open a conversation with them. If the negotiation is successful, a demon will become a powerful ally. On the future dance of Dumb Cry series, he just haven't looked hard enough. Cases, okay. By rejecting a demon's request, they may feel motivated and join you as an ally. Demons that do join will fight alongside you and grow stronger. By fusing demon allies, another demon can be created. Tyrant Beezlebug? Honestly, the Shimigami Tensei series have always looked kind of cool, but at the same time, it's just such a uh, time sink in these games. Realistic personas. It's the same universe, I, I think, or it's like a different sort of. Uh, I don't know, actually. Shin Megami Tensei 5 will launch exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 12th. Cool. Pre orders for the physical version begin June 21st. That was the latest trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5 from Atlas. Mm -hmm. This is the newest game in the series. Mm -hmm. Please look forward to future updates. It says 5 in a name. Do, you need to, do I need to play Wonder 4? I think it's like Persona, which it doesn't matter. But I guess it helps. Celebrate ten years of Dongan Rampa in despair. I feel like they could have done the trailer a bit better. It was literally just a tutorial for a trailer. Yeah. Testing, testing. Mic check. One, 
No, 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 but because of the fact it seems you can jump in at any point, um, that's why they kind of have to have the tutorials. Ugh. Three games in the Deadly Donkin Rampa series are coming to Nintendo Switch. I am this school. Monokuma, the self-proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students in a game of literal life and death. Unfortunately, the only way out of the school and this lethal game is to betray the other students. And so it begins. A body has been discovered! When a student meets their demise, a class trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? Telling you, I have no idea. They probably Goodbye. moved the body there. Use the evidence you've gathered to refute contradictions and find... Oh, gosh, what I feel. Sneak attack. Isn't there... Isn't this collection already on, uh... PC? Or is this Switch exclusive? Are you okay? Plus, the board game from Rampa V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded huh? into a standalone game. Rampa S Ultimate Summer Camp. An all-star cast of I think it was on PC. The Rampa series. It'd be weird if this was like uh tropical resort. Who's the strongest? Switch only. This ultimate beach brawl. The four game collection Rampa Decadence launches as a physical exclusive on Nintendo Physical Switch exclusive. Oh. All four games will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. Cool. Fatal Frame? You're not afraid of ghosts. Yes, I believe this was um, Japanese exclusive on the Wii U back when. Unless this is an entirely new thingy, I don't know. In this but... horror adventure game. You'll uncover the mysteries surrounding It kind of feels like half of the reason to play this is for the girl and the other half is for the actual horror aspect of it. <laughs> Ghosts frequent this mountain. Your only defense is a camera that can repel and cast them out. Face your fears as you explore a variety of unsettling locations. This spine-chilling story features It's not a grill. Letting you experience the game from different perspectives. New costumes and photo modes are included in this yeah. <laughs> Can you investigate Mount Hikon? After MSRP, it's just the costumes. The costume DLC. Fatal frame. Maiden of Black Water creeps onto Nintendo Switch. They're, like, they're just little, like, bikinis that you get, you get to buy slash unlock for the These chick. These games and DLC are coming soon. Some even today. Huh? Mother 3 today? Oh, doom. Oh, basically. Is not over. Raise hell in the first campaign expansion for Doom Eternal. The Ancient Gods Part 1. Mm. It's not Japanese girl. <laughs> she doesn't make weird noises. I mean, there wasn't really a whole ton of, um, in demon infested like actual game audio. Just kind of like music and ambient. The fate of the cosmos is in your hands. Get slaying when this campaign expansion launches. But don't worry, guys. It's it's, uh, it's portable. <laughs> No, I'm sure this looks fine on a portable screen. Get ramped up for two iconic skateboarding games fully remastered in HD. Skate to era-defining jams as the legendary Tony Hawk and a roster of new and returning <laughs> pros. <laughs> Tony Hawk's <laughs> existential crises. Go with all the original game modes and compete locally or online to show off your tricks against other skaters. Drop into Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, launching on Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. What do these? After 4,000 oh. years, Sateki, the Witch Queen, has risen from the dead. And only one group of heroes can stop her. The Strange Brigade. This was on PC. In this thrilling adventure, you'll blast through an army of mummified monstrosities while solving puzzles in booby-trapped dungeons. So, so th this game's a really good benchmark for, like, old hardware on PC, because it runs surprisingly well. Online play. On like Expected mostly anything. When Strange Brigade launches on Nintendo Switch later today. All right, cool. It's a new adventure of cosmic. This I am actually looking forward to, but as I said many a time, I'm gonna wait for this to go on sale, <laughs> like a week after release. So uh, yeah. Our heroes must stop a mysterious new evil from plunging. I have a, I have a reason for getting the DLC now. Whenever it goes on sale, if it goes on sale. Rabbit Rosalina joins them. Wait, is she bored already? Explore planets filled with quirky residents and even quirkier secrets. Change Rabbit Luigi's sign. And in this fresh take oh, yeah, on the tactical fine. genre, our heroes can run freely around the battlefield, 
creating new strategic and chaotic possibilities. I don't think any of this is new. With a little help from your friends. Because this was shown at the Ubisoft Direct. Well, one thing's certain. This is gonna be one heck of a galactic adventure. Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope launches into space. Uh, I'm not sure if you were given a date year. last time, but cool. Hit the first theme with the DLC for like 20 bucks. Oh. <laughs> Goth Rabbit Girl, yes. Is this, uh... Advance Wars? Oh, people are gonna be very happy about this. The original remade, ooh. This would be interesting to play. I've heard I've heard all the good stuff about Vance Wars. So seeing a remade. Cool. That's where you run the guff, anything is good. But no but no big booba. What's the point? <laughs> uh, I really like this like toy aesthetic they have for it. Memorable characters and vibrant gameplay are in store as you lead the commanding officers to victory. Yeah, Nintendo won E3 for a lot of people, just this, honestly. Play the first two Advance Wars games oh. in Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Marching on to Nintendo Switch this holiday. Cool. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Exclusive for six months. No, <laughs> help not. All right. This next segment will be our last announcement of the day. Please take a look. Life is more than just Booba Joe. We got other parts to see. <laughs> oh, is this Breath of the Wild 2? No, Age of Calamity. Alright, I should have known. But by uh, Pyra. Not Pyra. Is this freaking who's her face? Isn't it a little girl? Rabbits don't really have any parts really except for like the ears. Big ear girl, goth girlfriend. <laughs> so what is this? Is this like a Breath of, uh, Breath of the Wild 2 weapon that they're having in here? Is this all original? Expansion pass. I love spending more money. I I mean I I saw I saw a playthrough of this uh, through Vinny, and, and it looked uh, f uh, fun enough. So. My one June 19th. Oh, it's soon. Playable character, fly all. 20 bucks? Okay. Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC for the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass from Koei Tecmo Games. I think this is the first direct without any ports. Through more battles that took place like, years you know, Wii U for 3DS ports. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you'll look forward to it. I have a few more things to share with you all today. Yes. We'll begin with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, mm. which launches next month. Mm. You'll Take away the amiibo. In the role of Link by using two Joy-Con controllers for intuitive motion controls, or by playing in handheld mode, wielding the sword via flicking the stick. Age yeah, Calamity was sequel. Controls. Oh well, it's more of a. This game it's a prequel to Breath of the Wild, but it's also its own thing. But it, it got it got the OC. What is the origin of the Master Sword? Why did a woman named Zelda become the legend for future generations? These will all be unraveled in this game. We hope you're looking forward to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Give me fast travel. Put it in the game. Don't lock it to an amiibo, and I'll be happy. <laughs> Next up. Oh. New game and watch. Here's a little something you might like. This is a game and watch oh. system that lets you play three games in the Legend of Zelda series. This year, the original Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. Yeah, they're doing something for an anniversary. We don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned. We've been working on this game and watch system Oop. as a special item to help mark the occasion and reflect fondly on the earliest days of the Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Yeah, it was its own game. It will come with the first game in the series, The Legend of Zelda. They'll be brave to put Zelda. Oh, Zelda wow. 2, the Adventure of Link. 
I wonder if they changed the ROM on that. Oh, Zelda's Awakening! Yo, Link's Awakening! Oh, this is one of my favorite Zeldas. Next Wind Waker. As a special version of the Game and Watch title Vermin, starring Link as the playable character. Has like the uh, Awakening art style. From longer Legend of Zelda games to the pick up and play game Vermin. It's good. I, I, I kind of want this actually, just for Link's Awakening. Watch functionality for the Game and Watch system. We've added a playable clock based on the Legend of Zelda. And an interactive timer themed after Zelda 2: The Adventure of Link. Be careful, Zelda fans! It's only available for the week. There's so many uh, uh, Game and Watches of, of the, the Mario Brothers still out there. So. Game and Watch system, whenever and wherever you'd like. Okay. All right. Here's the last thing we have to show you. This is the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Two years have passed. Oh, if only they had my Metroid Prime collection. And we've been unable to I would have had a bingo. So close yet so far. Development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Ooh. Please take a look. It's been like two years since we last saw the first one, by the way. Was it two years or was it three? I forgot. It's been it's been a good while. I don't know, I think it was it was two, I believe. We got Dry Ganon. Zelda is dead. Again. Breath of the Wild. Oh! What's with Link's arm? Why is it crusty? Or is this Zelda? So it'd be in Breath of the Wild 1. Yeah, same. I don't have some motivation to. Oh, no items. Wait, is this actual items? It has, like, Twilight Princess energy. Now show me actual dungeons and I'll be happy. <laughs> Dan and goes to the toilet room. 2020. Oh, they actually gave a date. Pretty good. So, what did you think? This time around, the Better than Breath of the Wild 1. Has been expanded to include the skies above Hyrule. Cool. We'd like to ask you to wait a <laughs> Breath of the Wild 3 actually fight again. <laughs> 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. How was that? That's all for oh, the best E3 presentation, which wasn't saying much because the bar was so low. On a number of other games we didn't show today, I hope you'll continue looking forward to what's in store on Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. Was there actually a mobile phone port? I don't think so. All right. Cool. Like I said, best E3 presentation up to now, which isn't saying much. The bar was set really low, but like literally everything. Even Capcom set that bar like ultra low. Hi everyone. I have Treehouse sign. Can we see videos on the trailer for months? Yeah. Uh, this is Treehouse. I don't care too much about that. So, uh. We're all about creating experience. Okay. Um, let's put uh, some background stuff as I uh, wrap things up for today. But, uh. Yeah. This, this was fun, like I said, uh, we were very close to a bingo, but uh, I should have put like new Metroid game, I suppose. Uh, there, there's a lot of good stuff here. We got Metroid Prime Dread, uh, not Prime, uh, Metroid Dread, which I, I, I want to play when it comes out. Um, but there's also like a bunch of Metroid games before that that I want to play, especially a lot of the 2D ones. Not the first one though, unless, I think there's a remake for the first one, a fan made remake. That would be interesting. Um, yeah, my, like I said, my main focus for this year is the Auto Kirby game, so... Eh, we'll see. Uh, Stories 2 looks better each time there's a new trailer, once it's actually new stuff. It's good, it's good stuff. Pretty wanted that bingo. Could have met my trade collection. Yeah, yeah maybe next time. The, Z the Zelda Game & Watch looked pretty cool. Pretty, pretty neato. I, I'll, I'll buy that. 
But there's actually more value besides just Mario Brothers 1 and 2. Um, the Japanese 2. Um, I, I kind of just wanted for Link's Awakening, honestly. <laughs> I really like that game. I play, I'll play through it again. Even though I'm uh, not a big fan of like the NES style of, uh, 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 button layout. You know, it's kind of uncomfortable to have like buttons be a straight line. It's better when they're curved. Um, new, new Wario game, uh, WarioWare game, uh, Rip in Pieces 2D Wario. Uh, never gonna happen. Oh, it would have been neat to have like a Wario Land Shake It on Switch, but oh well. What else? Mario Party, uh, best of Mario Party. We got board games on there, not just mini games on Switch, but online play. That looks neat. Um, that, that Tekken dude in Smash, like I said, I just, I just, I tried to cover my bases for like every Smash character, but I, I didn't expect a fighting game character or a villain, so. Um, everything else was just kind of, I, I thought it would have been like easy, 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 uh, easy slots, but with the ports and the, uh, uh, Joy-Con and new Switch stuff, but. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. My Metroid Dread. I'm looking forward to this. This looks good. Met 2D Metroid is also uh, very, very good. <laughs> oh yeah, Advance Wars 1 and 2. Yeah, that, that looks interesting. I might look into that. Um... Yeah. I, uh, I guess that's it. I'll, uh, nothing else to really add on to. Peace. Guess I'll see you guys later tonight. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all have fun. And uh, I'll see you later tonight with uh, For You or Warzone. Uh, going into uh, Katsu game. We're going to be playing the Dreamcast uh, Berserk game. Finally! <laughs> um, wow, they're showing old games. Wow. Yeah, I'll see you guys later today then. Stay safe. Bye.